He's taken COH Carnage three weeks, and it's almost almost constantly he's still not done with the Kingdom Hearts games. Yeah. I mean, I also have to see if I actually get a press copy of Kingdom Hearts 3. I requested one through my, my usual contact, and so if I get it, then I'll probably play, play it anyway. Because, like, so part of it is I've played Kingdom Hearts before. I, I've played the entire series. I know uh, I, I finished all of the games well before. Uh, well, okay, not all of the games. There's, like, two I haven't done. Uh, but I've done the vast majority of them uh, a long time ago. Uh, before YouTube was, like, really a thing? I, eh, sort of, no. There were definitely Let's Players when I was, when I was like, playing the Kingdom Hearts games, but I didn't think I was going to be one. Um... Okay, let's save. Let's actually go back to town and buy everything. Well, we have the, uh, the Geo before we go too far. And then we're gonna go kill the, uh... The false, false grub. But, what was I gonna say? Um... I know, it's still super tempting to just kind of treat it as one of those, like, full series and I'll just get to Kingdom Hearts 3 eventually instead and actually like do a full series uh but again yeah okay so we've actually mapped out the entire place that's good so cocoon pin grab that tram pin which is like the least useful thing ever so we don't have the grub pin yet as like an available thing we can buy i bet that some i bet we have to go fight the oh we can talk to her Actually, no, it doesn't look like we can talk to her. She's just gonna hang out there, smelling my stank and blushing. I'm assuming she just got really high as a result. Can you smell something? There's suddenly a horrid stench in the air. I swear the town usually smells much nicer than this. Please accept my humble apology. To reach Dirtmouth, most travelers take circuitous routes around, uh, around the cliffs beside us. It's a hard trek now, but in the kingdom's prime, things were much simpler. There's an old pass in the cliffs that once allowed easy access. The bridge up to it has been long long since crumbled away. Even without it, a huge door bars entry. And complain, mind you. It's meant we've only had, a, had to accommodate a trickle of travelers, even during our busi busiest of times. Wouldn't want hordes of bugs to descend on Dirtmouth. I like the quiet. Feeling tired. Okay, so it's the it's the usual. When does she get her own house? I actually don't know. Nope. So most permanent characters have special dialogue from you wearing the Stank... Stank Fender's crest. Humorous. Okay, and I don't want to buy that. Okay, so is there anything else I actually care to buy? Yeah, because... No, this is her house right here, actually. She's just hanging out outside. Hey, mass piece! It's so cute that she's got, like, a little Hollow Knight plushie. The White Savior returns. Long had they remained apart, and the village, once so warm, now grew cold. The maiden felt the well of grief. Gripped... It gripped fierce about her lonely shell, and suddenly, as though her tragic state was sensed, the savior returned, standing tall, glowing bright, below shining horns, eyes well black, glistening, eyes only for the maiden long missed, long desired. Her savior leaned close, sat beside, perfectly composed, and that charged, breathless moment, not a word needed needed be spoken. The maiden's shell felt suddenly tight, her claws curled, no glance was shared, no claws touched, just perfect, aching love shared in silence together. And this time, Zote's not around to, uh... Uh, this time around, Zote's not around to poacher from us. Okay, so we're gonna go to the Queen's Gardens. Do we have a... Yeah, we got a stagway there. Is there anything else? Not really in the area. There might be a couple of secrets that I've missed. I'm sure there is, but still. What adorable fanfiction. I know, right? Like, it's a bit of a shame that, uh... That... The vessel himself is, I mean, effectively a, a soulless husk wandering around. Oh, I was gonna go do Grim Troop. Let's let's go do that first, uh, or start that, so we can have another ad flying around helping us. Um, 
But like it's a bit tragic that that her her this the object of her affections is effectively somewhere between a vampire and like a soulless murder monster. Oh, hey, do we have the Yeah, we've got the we've got the super uh boom, so we can actually go trigger what's ever in here. I forgot about that. Soulless and technically genderless. True. I have no idea. Anybody want to look up how you're supposed to bust this thing open? Because you're supposed to be able to do something there. But it has yet to actually function for me. Let me see. I want to say the Grim Troop entrance is not by corner fur. You actually get a decent end uh, in God Home. I, well, I haven't actually seen the ending for God Home yet, so. Nope, further down. Maybe? Let me know if I'm barking up the wrong tree here. Our beings, these words are for you alone. These blasted plains stretch never-ending. There's no world beyond. This foolish enough to traver traverse the void must pay the toll and relinquish the precious mind this kingdom grants. Yeah, how many endings are for this game? Ah, uh, let's see. There's bad ending. Okay. Oh. There's the bad ending. There's the... Good ending, but I want to say Hornet dies. Uh Is this it? Oh, for the right. The corpse of a large bug. Pardon me. Okay, so that was enough to summon it, I believe. Hope that's the case. So... Does this guy have anything? Nope, this guy doesn't have anything. I think we can actually just bench warp at this point. I want to say we can just bench warp here. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna start Grim Troop. I could even attempt uh fighting at least a couple of them. Uh we'll see. Okay, Grim Troop is here. Ah, look, someone's something strange and sinister has suddenly appeared. Oh, it fills me with dread. I think it best I try to avoid it. Oh, right. I forgot there's a vendor in the set side room. Master? Ah, did you call us? You called us, and we came, we came. You don't look scared. Why did you call us? Ah, it doesn't matter. Don't tell me. Mm. Don't tell me. We came, and I can smell something, something deep below us. I want it. I want it. Ah, that charm, beautiful, the most precious thing. Lovely, lovely. Will you let me see it? Have to show it to me. Your fragile greed charm. Ah, ah, such a beauty, such a smell, such a smell, ah. Ah, 
that's so good. So tasty, a perfect, perfect thing just for me. Ah, beautiful, delicious. Ah, very, you're good, little lovely. You're very sweet to bring me such a gift. Okay, so she wants the three fragile charms. I have to put them all on. And then I'm assuming it's like stupid expensive to get them back. I probably should have waited until I had enough money to actually... Oh well. Mmm, you called us. Speak to master. When flame burns bright inside one's mind, can heed the call across lands and time. Yeah, it's expensive. So, it was you who called us. Well met, my friend. Uh, well met. I am Grim, master of this troop. The lantern has been lit and your summons heeded. A fine stage you chose, this kingdom followed by worm and root. Perfect earth, upon which our ritual shall take place. And you, my friend, your own part is far from over. As the lantern flared, your role was cast, our compact written in scarlet fire. Eager we are to see your commence. You commence, but first some illumination is required. Across these lands my kin now spread, harvesting that essence particular to my breed. The flame in dream. Seek my kin, claim their fame, flame, and return it to me. Together marvels shall be achieved. But don't fret, small one, for this small task you won't travel alone. My child shall guide you to the flame and gather within itself that burning essence. Like you, the child plays key role in this task. Only with it, by your side, will the flame and my kin reveal themselves to you. I can't wait for you to inevitably betray me. The flame! Seek it out! For master! For our kin! I like how he's got like a maggot accordion thing. Horrifying. Alright. So, I should probably just talk to her again. The one who made my gift. Ah, somewhere below. Yes, very good. Very tasty. Delicious. Doesn't betray you, though. I just remember you fight him, and it sucks. Okay, so I'm just gonna feed her the remaining three. And we'll come back to it later. Do you want something, little lovely? You don't want to take my gift back, do you? Ah, oh, so nasty, so cruel, it's true. Once you give something as a gift, it's lost you forever. A gift for you, so greedy. But I can show you something if you're nice to me, little lovely. Will you do a nice thing, lovely? Give them to me, your Geo. Give me your Geo. And I'll give you a gift. Okay, so I do not have nearly enough. No Geo, why? Why don't you have enough Geo? Alright. So... Obviously, I actually should not have given her that. Fragile Greed is like my main way of making money uh, for a while. So that means we've got to, well, we've got to do other things. Okay. How's there a map marker or something? I want to say, I want to say there's some kind of like... There's some kind of indication. Let's see, there's an NPC in Deep Nest near the Dreamer that you can talk to and banish the troop. I don't think I want to do that, though. I, I want to legitimately try and fight the guy before I... I... I want to fight the guy before I... I just give up like that. Okay. Oh, right. I think we have to have the pin on. Or the charm. Warned by those who take part in the Grim Troops ritual, the bear must seek the Grim can to collect their flames. Uncollected flames will appear on the bear's map. There we go. There we go. There's her answer. Let's go upgrade this little bugger. Yeah, so when you get 9,000 Geo, you get an unbreakable version of that charm. Yeah. I figured I figured we should probably mildly prioritize that, because that way I don't have to worry about it anymore. Not that it's a big deal. Man, I really like this song. 
I forget about it constantly, but I really like it. Not much I can do here. But wait. I mean, my spiders will just kill him eventually. Like half the time I can't even get at him properly. There we go. Awkward. A couple of tries through the first trial should give you enough geo. Yeah, but I can work on other things. Honestly, going after the uh the mantis uh the traitor lord should be more than enough. Also, finishing this off should work fine. There's there's a number of ways that I can do this without problems. We wow, that is perfect timing. Okay, we're gonna go fight. Uh, we're gonna go fight the false knight. Why did I do that? I knew I knew it was a thing. I always knew it was a thing, and yet I did it anyway. Okay, yeah, we're gonna go fight the false knight. The uh. A couple of different things. Because I figure... Ow. Oh, didn't take any damage from it. I figure we can go work on, uh... We can work on, like, a bunch of our side objectives while we just run around and wreck people. Uh... You ever run, uh... Celeste? No. Uh, someday, maybe. The problem is Celeste is just, like, a pure platformer. And that's really tough for me. Like, I might be decent at platforming in this game, but that doesn't actually mean that it's uh, particularly comfortable for me. Uh, which is my main problem. But it's also one of those where it's like... It's on, like, many people's list of games that you need to play bef uh, Like, absolutely need to play. So, like, I feel like I should? Ugh. It's... I mean, it's a tough mix. Ow. Oh, that was the corpse I was right next to. Goofed that one. But yeah, Celeste can be brutally difficult. Yeah, that's kind of where I am. It's like... With the Path of Pain... Oh, wrong. Gotta go... Gotta go further. You know, with the experience of the Path of Pain, most, like, pure, raw platforming challenge situations, they usually don't appeal to me in the same way that, like... Oh, what's a good example? Well, I mean... The rest of this game generally is mostly like uh, exploration, light platforming, and some other stuff. Oh, oh, I stanked him to death. Well, that's his own fault for being worthless then. Let's see. Please play the A sides, they're very friendly. B and C, C sides are for masochists. Yep. I, uh, I follow the, I follow the developers on on Twitter. I'm actually really disappointed they never, uh, they're not going to continue with their really awesome looking Metroidvania. But I also understand exactly why. Oh! Shit, you can... I didn't know that. I didn't know you could send this guy's meteors at him. Okay. I am taking a lot of damage from this guy, but he is also dead. Oh, no, he's not dead. What am I doing? False knight. Ooh. That some hurts.
I forgot how much damage he does in this. I just gotta make sure I don't get hit by stuff here. Okay, there we go. Don't give him time to recover. He does not need time to recover. Yeah, I know you can actually send these at him. Ow. It's really hard to pull off that timing. Okay, well, it's fine. Man, how much HP does he have? There we go. Blah, 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 blah. I like this guy. He's a fun boss. Hits like a truck, but that's okay. Can I talk to him? I wanted it. The strength to protect the uh, protect others. When I saw that knight sleeping safe in his big armored shell, it wasn't madness that drove me to it. I just wanted it. But in the end, if strength cannot save you, then what can? Yeah, so he, he killed the original knight. Took it over. Horrifying. Well, anyway. I, I... I think I killed him originally. I don't know if I... I didn't talk to him. That's what the deal was. Okay, so... Actually, pretty easy to get the next fire. A couple of fires, really. Uh, so we want to take this... Take the elevator back. What other uh, spirit spiritized bosses do we have sitting around that I can go finish? So he was a parasite? Yup. Yeah, he was... Oh, jeez. I don't remember what kind of bug he's supposed to be. But yeah, he's a parasite. Effectively took over one of the, uh, the royal knights. Oh, damn it. Well, it's fine. We've got a... Uh, yeah, we've got the cracked vessel. Is it just the cracked vessel, or is there another one? Or a broken vessel. Uh, let's see. So we want to go to... City storerooms, I think. <laughs> broken vessel 2, Death Boogaloo. I mean, with the ability to dash through him... He gets easier, as long as I don't panic. It's panicking that usually kills me when when it comes to that guy. Okay, there we go. Took maybe a little bit too much damage trying to get at him, but it's fine. Okay. So where do we where are we going next? So that was easy. Uh yeah. Hmm. I can take this elevator up, can't I? Now that I'm thinking about it. This'll this'll take me up so I can get into Green Path and we can go get that other one. Let's see. How do I like Vulcanize when I stream it? I don't The problem is the frame rate on that game does not work well with me. I was having the same problem with Anthem. Um And so it's like would I stream it? Yeah, again, maybe tomorrow? I don't know, hard to say. Uh, main problem is, I'm going on vacation, makes it very, very difficult, well, vacation. I'm on house hunting. Makes it a little harder to keep up with, like, any kind of schedule here. I really think those, like, crusher worms would, uh, would actually get affected by the goop. I guess they're, they're too mindless to care. But then again, so are those bugs, I don't even know. Um... 
But yeah, unfortunately, it's one of those where it's like I have to kind of pick and choose uh, what I'm going to play beforehand. I'll probably do Vulcanoids tomorrow. But I got to make sure I get through everything anyway. Let's see. So how do we get to this guy? I guess we just go straight up back up green path and we'll go from there. A streamer's going on vacation. Preposterous, unheard of. I'm leaving a body double, so stream streams will keep going. They'll just sound considerably different for a little while. They'll sound suspiciously like Shell instead of me. I don't know what she's gonna play. Uh, she's probably gonna do a lot of like story-based stuff, to be totally honest. I guess I can just go right up the wall. There we go. Dash first, then do other things. Okay. Those guys amuse me. There's just something like raw panic about them. Let's see. Off we go! Whoops. Off we go! We... If the trip is successful, how uh, things happen? I'd probably, uh, you know, more or less fill out the application then and there to some degree. Uh, you know, at the... Well, I'd probably consult with Shell, be like, yo, uh, what, what's the plan? And she'd be like, I, yeah, I liked this place, let's go from that. And then, um... Or, we'll go with that. And then, uh... Then I'd probably fill out the application. And then... We'd probably move within, like, a week or two. Like, there are going to be interruptions in February. I can guarantee that for you guys. Uh, I don't know what kind of interruptions, like, I'm looking at, and hopefully it'll only be a couple of days. It's gonna take us three days to drive across the country, no matter what. Uh, plus, like, maybe a day or two to, like, get internet going. If I'm really lucky, I can schedule it more or less, like, day after we arrive. Uh, and get all that hooked up, like, immediately. Let's see, let me know so I can help with the road trip. Oh yeah, you could! Yeah, that'd be lovely. It saved me 150 bucks already. Which, like, this is not a cheap trip. Uh, buying plane tickets the week beforehand costs, like, 500 bucks. Six, 600. Uh... And then the hotel cost about a hundred. Much cheaper. Let's see. Where's the sucker? It's probably... No, he's not up above. He's around here somewhere. There you are. I was hoping he was gonna dive at me there. So I can dash through him. But it seems like when he shoots his fire, it's better timing. Why are these people... Uh, maybe not suicidal necessarily, but kinda-ish? Let me see. So now we want to go down to the Stone Sanctuary. I thought the Stone Sanctuary was actually where one of the Dreamers slept, but I was wrong. Let's see. Oh, right. We're gonna go kill the Collector, and then I get distracted. Well, we'll still go kill the Collector. I think, uh, process is gonna be Stone Sanctuary, Collector, uh, Queen's Gardens, and then wrap up, at least, with the Dreamers. I guess there's still, like, a fair amount there. We haven't done the, the Spider Caves yet. Okay, so where is this? It's over on the right somewhere. Oh, here it is. I probably completely missed those spikes, because I was just reading things. Okay, there we go. But yeah, so... I'm hoping some of the places are going to be good. I think we've got like six or seven lined up. And I'm kind of hoping that it'll be... It'll be kind of a... a quick, quick thing, but... Quick enough that we can, um... 
more or less making decisions like, yeah, this place is rad. Oh, hi. I don't know how I got warped to this guy, but hello. My child, can't you see? Can you see? Please don't hurt me. Can't sleep with your eyes open, little one. Can't dream if you're still breathing, little one. Precious children, you speak such loath loath loathsome things as you sleep. Your claws scrape and scratch. Precious children, a monster has come for us in the dark. Will you sing for me? Challenge the warrior dream. This is probably one of the weirder boss fights in the game. Because she doesn't actually fight us. We just get attacked by her, like, weird ghost. There we go. One by one, their eyes closed at last. I felt it, a warm stillness falling over us. I'm sorry I was frightened of you. You were always protecting us, even when we couldn't see you. Take us there, please. A place where light cannot haunt us. A place without dreams. Please. A face carved from stone. 